guys you guys know what this is right you guys know this lingam do i need to okay so they they worship this okay and every i keep telling i keep hearing that this is supposed to be a penis and this is supposed to be a vagina and they keep pouring milk over it it's kind of like supposed to be like semen can i say this on youtube i don't know I'm, can i say these things on youtube like look and they worship this okay and then a lot of some hindus come like no this is not a penis it's not a penis and this is not a vagina and the milk it does not represent cum but then i look into it and I'm like oh yeah actually it does All right um but let's actually look what what it represents okay where did it go where did it go wait hold on where did it oh here it's this one all right so let's see the reason behind Shiva Ling worship. So Shiva Ling is exactly what I showed. Yeah, Lingam. Yes, Shing Lingam is the penis. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, so oh, let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can read along. The sages uh, curiously ask Sutta. So this is the origin story of why Hindus worship the penis, the Shiva's penis and the vagina. Okay um but let's let's read here's the story here's how it started the sages curiously ask sutaji about the purpose with which parvati had decided to appear in form of a vagina sutaji narrated the following tale okay so let me actually show you guys who this person is okay so this is parvati okay so she, it wasn't her vagina that showed up. She just showed up in the form of an, an entire vagina. That's how she showed up. Okay. This is a goddess. Okay. Mm, yeah, she's a goddess. Okay. So let's see how that happened. Why that happened. Okay. Long, long time ago in a land far away, some sages used to pen, uh, do uh, penance in a Shiva temple. Okay, so this was a... Whoa, we got a super chat. Thank you so much. 100 rupees super chat is saying, in support of atheism, finally taking a stand against Hinduism. Make no mistake. Hindutva or Hindu fundamentalism is on the rise. It must be uh, combated. Well, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much. Okay, by the way, I just want to mention that I still enjoy the stories, I still enjoy the tradition, and I still enjoy the art, is the belief that I have a problem with, okay? Not the mythology, not the art, not the dance, not the food, not the poetry, not the symbolism. All of that is fine. All of that is beautiful. All of that should be celebrated. But the belief in it, the belief that these are actually true, that Hinduism represents anything logical, that's what I disagree with. That's what I fight against, okay? So let's look at this story. Long, long ago, some sages used to do penance in a Shiva temple, okay? So this was in a Shiva. Guys, the context matters here, okay? This was in a Shiva temple, okay? Situated near Daruvana Forest. Guys, why is this? Why is this? Why are these stories not movies yet? Okay, you're like, come on. Come on. Netflix, Disney. Um, somebody do something with this. Uh, one day, okay, one day they went to collect woods, uh, the sages, okay? These are the sages that were collecting woods uh, needed for Yaga, yeah? I don't know what that is. Lord Shiva wanted to test their devotion, okay? So he arrived before the sages, before the sages' wives. So the, when the sages were collecting wood, Shiva came to their wives. In naked position, holding his own penis in his hand. That's a very strange test. This is starting, we haven't even gotten like halfway through and this just got weird, just got weird really fast, okay? I mean, I, I have to admit, yes, okay, your, your religion is very unique in some aspects, okay? There are major differences. I don't remember Allah ever showing up in front of some other people's wives holding his penis in his own hand, okay? I don't remember I don't remember Jesus or Allah showing up 
to religious people's wives holding their own penises in their hand naked okay so okay could plus one to your point be like ah oh, our religion is different our religion is unique very different from abrahamic religions it's come so com yeah okay okay fine yes other religions don't have naked gods showing up to other people's wives holding their penis in their hand okay so yeah that's you you're right about some things okay um the wives of the sages became frightened by Shiva's appearance. Okay, <laughs> AJ is saying Jesus made up. I, 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 don't, I don't remember that story. Um, when the sages returned after collecting woods, they became very furious to see a naked person luring their wives. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't blame them. Do you guys blame them? They ask, what kind of a test is this? Uh, the sages are acting up like I might have tested devotion, so I'm gonna like <laughs> go, <laughs> go show up naked in front of the wives holding my penis to test their devotion, and they don't even know who I am, and they're supposed to be so devoted to me that they don't like complain, but even though they don't know I'm Shiva, like what the ah, Shiva, Shiva was not the smartest god out there, was he? Like he was not, he was not right in the head. <laughs> I think I think Shiva has other I think Shiva had other reasons to do this like he was just like a he was just like effed up in the head like he had to he had this need to go expose himself to women and people were like oh are you testing us and she was like yeah let's go with that <laughs> I was testing you <laughs> like, she was like sure sure that was a test yes yes exactly that's that's what's going on here um okay so they asked so the sages were like they asked shiva to reveal his identity when shiva did not give any reply they cursed his penis they cursed his penis they cursed his penis guys they cursed <laughs> uh, objective reality saying he was high on weed that was his thing yeah okay no come on he was this is a, this was a very well thought of a very detailed plan by Shiva, okay? He was testing them, okay? But his test backfired because, the, the, yeah, they, they sh wait, these sages were so powerful, they managed to curse a god's penis to be cut off, and his penis fell down to the ground. My God, like, how, what about, what a powerful curse so that you could, Chop off the penis of a god. What kind of a sages? What kind of magic powers these sages have? These are like some serious, powerful curses. One, all right. So, by the way, if this, I mean, how could they pass this test if Shiva was not identifying who he is? I don't understand that. Okay. The penis fell down from the hand of Lord Shiva and generated so much of heat that all the trees. All the three were oh no, all the three worlds started to burn. Wait, wait, wait. So when I said this Shiva's plan backfired, I didn't know it literally backfired, but apparently it literally backfired. So the, the penis fell on the ground, and the penis falling on the ground produced so much heat that all the three worlds started to burn. Three world. I didn't know there were three worlds. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> confused. This is the a guy. Okay, yeah. And that butt hurt him. Just like fake news, guys. Fake news. None of this is real. Again, guys, you could go check it out yourself. Okay. The penis fell down from the hand of Lord Shiva and Jinnity. Okay, I already read that part. The sages became very nervous and went to seek the help of Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma revealed to them to, to them that the person who they cursed was none other than Lord Shiva himself. Oh, the sages. He also instructed them to, ple to please Goddess Parvati as she only could have them uh, from Shiva's wrath by appearing in the form of a vagina and holding the penis. Okay? So the, the sages followed the instructions of Lord Brahma. Goddess Parvati appeared in the form of a vagina. A full, like, 
yeah, like that's kind of gross. Like it's just a vagina, and held Shiva. So she she formed she came in the form of vagina, and she hold, held Shiva's penis in herself. Oh my god, that's that's that looks like an alien movie to me in some way. Okay, uh, and the penis became static, and the destruction stopped. The sages then worshipped the Shiva Linga. Thus, Shiva Lingam became famous in the three worlds. Katie, do you have any comments on this? Your comments are very important. Oh, here. The fact that they don't want to admit it's a penis proves their sexual rep re uh, repressiveness. Even the Japanese have a major penis festival. They don't hide. Yeah, guys. Hindus, don't be embarrassed about this, okay? This is fine. This is funny, okay? Look, when the Japanese, when they have a penis, first of all, they don't, they're not, you know why you're in Okay, guys, you keep saying I have an Abrahamic perspective of Hinduism, you, but it, this is, it, Katie, you're so right. The, it's the Hindus who have an Abrahamic perspective of Hinduism. That's why they're embarrassed. They weren't used to be, they, they, they weren't embarrassed of this stuff before. It was the Abrahamic influence on their becoming sex negative and shameful. They're like they became disgusted of these things, right? Gee, the Japanese are not. They the Japanese are not ashamed of this, right? But you guys are ashamed of. I mean, they, technically, they are ashamed of other things. They have they have their own shame culture. So let's be fair. But you guys, the fact that you're now finding this embarrassing is because of that. It's not my Abrahamic ideology showing it's your abrahamic influence showing. the influence of abrahamic ideologies on your mindset that is showing okay it this whole sex shaming and sex negativity that came from abrahamic religions and the fact that you guys are not trying to hide this stuff and make like the lingam not be about penis and vagina is because of you know the sex negativity that was like the british colon you know the the british and the muslims they introduced that to you 